Hi guys, it is a chilly, gloomy night here in the end times in paradise, and this is uh, your old depressed collapsitarian coming at you with his weekly whine. It is Thursday, it is Thursday night, uh, September 12th, 2019, and so uh, I am over here, de here depressing myself looking at the uh, sad state of affairs with my personal finances. I may or may not be making a, uh, a rather embarrassing admission here on uh, a, a major embarrassing announcement on Humpty Dumpty Tribe here in the very near future. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut as I... Uh, Move, move forward with my latest caper. But anyway, uh, th this caper has brought me uh, to investigating my finances. Your old depressed collapse and looking at his finances to survive the end times. And uh, so anyway, I'm in the middle of, of uh, you know, begging my rich sister uh, to uh, bail me out of my latest financial straits once again as I continue to spiral down into poverty. And uh, in the middle of all this, this article shows up here on the mainstream media. And I just try to appreciate the uh, the universe's sense of humor here on my depressing Thursday night. This is from Yahoo Finance. This is an article, I guess, dedicated to depressed collapsitarians who depend on other people for uh, you know financially supporting them otherwise sometimes known as tipping, tipping, which is not a city in China. As uh, one of the guys at the uh, <clears throat> Christmas tree lot, uh, I've, had, I've had rants about Christmas tree lot attendants. He wears this sign around his neck saying, tipping is not a city in China. And uh, so anyway, this is just if, if you are dependent on the, uh, on the, you know, on the kindness of people who get some value out of whatever the service is you provide, that uh, you, you know, you, you think that maybe you provide a, a something that, you know, that gives somebody some sort of value, be it whatever, uh, is usually, you know, stuffing their fat, clueless fucking face with a goddamn hamburger or a beer or a margarita or whatever, uh, and you tip these people. You reward their efforts for, for administering to your wants and needs. And uh, so this is kind of a survey of people who depend on the kindness of strangers to reward them financially, saying thank you for a job well done. We appreciate what you're doing for us. Anyway, take it away, Yahoo Finance. You know, I've been wondering why my best financial supporters, my most regular uh, supporters here on YouTube, you know, uh, at least on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I am eight, my, my listeners are 80% male and 20% female. And on Collapse Chronicles, 87% male, 13% female. Yet my guess is that the women, 
probably make up uh, the the completely inordinate uh, amount, you know, their share, uh, the, 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 you know, how they're represented and the total percentage uh, of people listening to me and how they are so much more likely to support the work I do on YouTube. Uh, and then, of course, I wonder why it is it is older women. Why is it that old women are, are the are, are the most uh, conscientious uh, people who appreciate the work I do on YouTube? Maybe this story from Yahoo Finance can shed some light. Titled "Men and Millennials Least Likely to Tip," says new study. Oh, shit, Sherlock. A new study from creditcards.com found that men and millennials, millennials defined as people aged 23 to 38, are the least likely to tip for the services they use, like hairstylists, restaurant servers, food delivery people, and doomsday prophets on YouTube. The study surveyed over 2,500 adults and asked them to detail their tipping habits at coffee shops with food delivery people, hairdressers and barbers, hotel keepers, restaurant servers, taxi rideshare drivers, and doomsday prophets on YouTube. Baby boomers, those aged 55 to 73, were more likely to tip than millennials. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, and women were more likely to tip than men. Even though men and millennials do tip, their tipping habits are inconsistent you know, with who they are, uh, you know, deciding on who, you know, parting with their hard-earned money, who deserves a few dollars of appreciation. Okay. Millennials are the most likely to tip servers in a sit-down restaurant, followed by food delivery people. Unfortunately, for hotel housekeepers, only 15% of millennials will always tip them compared to a quarter of baby boomers who are actually less likely to tip coffee shop baristas. <clears throat> Though men and millennials are the most reluctant tippers, they can be the most generous tippers. And this is why, uh, you, you know, my, my, although, you know, if I, I, if I really tried to factor this all out, uh, it still ends up, although my female listeners percentage-wise, a much larger number of my female listeners do uh, you know, financially support me, it is, uh, it, it is probably the uh, top five of my angels uh, are men. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> let's see, more men then women will tip over 20% while nearly a quarter of millennials are willing to tip more than 20% on the bill. That's compared to only 5% of baby boomers. You know, it's the, that baby boomers that we were just taught is 15%. Uh, so that's what I tip, as I, I try to tip 
Okay, but of course, what is going on here uh, in the 21st century is more people, more people are relying on the goodness of people getting some benefit out of what they do uh, with their life. And uh, this is, you know, the pie. Uh, anyway, tipping is a contentious issue in the United States. The internet is rife with articles around the etiquette of tipping and how much one should tip, while most people expect to tip wait staff in restaurants. Fewer people tip as a token of appreciation during the holiday season. And my God, I, I think working at the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot from hell, I speak from hard-won experience. Uh, the, the, you know, the tipping at Christmas tree lot attendants are, well, they do better than Doomsday Prophets on YouTube, but Christmas tree lot attendants are uh, barely above YouTube Doomsday Prophets in expecting, uh, you know, people to throw a few dollars their way. Teachers in child care providers fare the best. Just over half of them receive tips at the holidays or on other occasions. But 70% of all the creditcards.com survey respondents said they never tip their trash collectors and 60% of respondents said they do not give gratuities to their mail carriers, but the most luckless of all people anywhere in the survey were doomsday prophets on YouTube as 99%, 99% of people getting a service from doomsday prophets on YouTube have never in their entire lives ever uh, tipped their doomsday profit. As the gig economy grows, so does the number of people who rely on, you know, the kindness of strangers. Uh, then they go into all of this uh, talking about the minimum wage uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, and then they end, and, and I have noticed this, at, at least at the Christmas tree lot. Uh, they're talking about how empathy can factor into tipping habits. According to the survey, just, uh, just under 30% of Americans have held a job at one point or another where they received or hoped pathetically, uh, to receive tips. Consequently, the report says they are better tippers, leaving on average 22% versus 17% uh, among people who never received tips. And, and we always, uh, if, if, if you ever, uh, waitresses are the best tippers at the Christmas tree lot. Also, they are significantly more likely to tip housekeepers, baristas, <clears throat> teachers, child care providers, mail carriers, and even the trash collectors. Unfortunately for doomsday profits on YouTube, not even other people who survive on the kindness of strangers for financial support uh, can expect to be tipped by people who also work for tips, said one millennial waitress. What the fuck is a doomer? Anyway, that will just have to be 
my uh, my little collapsed depressor, depressed depressitarian, collapsed depressitarian uh, whine of the day as I uh, watch watch my finances. The, the, the <laughs> yes, Hambone's finances where it looks like I am getting ready to go dig up my doomsday stash of silver dollars. Uh, looks like it's time to go rent the metal detector because I can't even remember where I buried my fucking silver dollars. And uh, since it doesn't look like I have any other source of income, uh, other than the $450 a month I get from my tenant. It looks like it's time to head back to Texas, get out the old shovel, and start digging around like, uh, who was it, uh, on God's Little Acre? I can't remember. Ty Ty, was that his name? Digging up, uh, looking for gold in God's Little Acre. Uh, but in all seriousness, guys, anybody who has ever found it in their hearts and wallets to uh, say thank you for whatever it is I do on YouTube, uh, I really appreciate it. And it looks like I will be back at the Optimist Club Christmas Tree lot. Uh, working for $12.50 an hour as a 60-year-old man. Uh, digging up dollars in the end times. But I'm sure you will hear more about that in the near future. Bye, guys.